Now, The Voice is also featuring heavily in the campaign ahead of the Fad and by election this in the northern Gold Coast on Saturday, of course, prompted by former Coalition Minister Stuart Roberts' retirement. Uh, Labor hoping to gain ground from the LNP here. This has been a very traditionally coalition seat. Uh, I think it's a margin of about 10 per cent. Um, but, you know, this by-election could serve as a test for the electorate sentiment with issues like integrity, that's what Labor's putting forward with robo-debt, but also the voice to Parliament. I think that's true. I mean, unlike Aston by-election, which Labor managed to sort of claw uh, back off the Liberals, I'm not getting the same kind of inklings uh, from my sources that uh, there will be a shift uh, in power in this seat. But I think all eyes will definitely be on perhaps a swing if there is to be one. And, of course, uh, Labor's definitely seizing on the fact that the outgoing member, Stuart Roberts, been caught up with the robo-debt scandal uh, and, of course, prosecuting those integrity issues there. I noticed, though, that the Labor candidate spoke to one of our Sky News colleagues earlier today and she said that the voice that which you mentioned uh, hasn't been mentioned. So she's not hearing that when she's on the ground uh, polling. Uh, Labor um, is also uh, focusing uh, on the fact that, uh, you know, LNP uh, and their record in that seat as well. On the other hand, though, uh, I think uh, I've seen some uh, posters, for example, and what they're trying to prosecute is that I think it was inflation, taxes uh, and crimes all gone up, gone up uh, under the state uh, and, and, and federal Labor and government. And cost of living so, as well, we really heard. And cost of living. Peter exactly. Dutton highlighted and that. So, yeah. Exactly. So I think... Uh, when it comes to the LNP, I think they've got more of a potent campaign, more of a potent argument compared to, say, the Aston by-election where mm. they were focusing uh, on, uh, you know, road funding being cut by Labor. Yeah, and I think the times have changed a bit for the Albanese government. That honeymoon lasted so long yes. and they were really still high in the polls when there was the Aston by-election. Now we've seen two recent polls that shows support is just coming off the Albanese government, mostly on the back of, you know, the 12 uh, interest rate rises, um, 11 under Labor and uh, the cost of living. Olivia Kaisley, political reporter for Sky News, thank you for joining me.